you can see that for the year we're in, uh, the Economic Forecast Council has dropped the forecast by a small amount, but uh, dropped it uh, nonetheless to uh, 2.1. In 2013, you can see where the Economic Forecast Council was in uh, January of this year, where they have now landed in their formal advice a couple of weeks ago. And uh, at 2.2, again, a, uh, a drop. We have adjusted as well. We, th we think, and the ministry uh, advises, that they believe uh, that level of prudence is still, uh, is still appropriate uh, as between 2.2 and 1.8 uh, that we are basing our calculations and figures around. So what does this all mean in terms of the bottom line for British Columbia? and for uh, the fiscal year we're in. So you see what's happening on the revenue side, and I'll talk about that uh, in a moment. Where you see the further deterioration on the revenue side. Expenses and expenditures we are uh, holding firm to, and to the extent that we're able to manage through and uh, realize on our objectives, that is a key part of the strategy. You'll recall when we were Last year, uh, a few months ago, we talked about managing down some of those expenditures, particularly the reduced revenues from natural gas, and identified uh, a target. We have uh, realized on a good chunk of that target. We have some, some more way to go. The $65 million remains to be uh, identified, and we will have uh, uh, hit uh, that target. But... Uh, bottom line, you see uh, continued growth for this fiscal year in the uh, in the deficit, and uh, that uh, uh, pre presents obviously uh, an ongoing challenge and one that uh, we are having to manage. And we'll get into some of the details around that. I will show you in a moment a, a comparative chart that I think is uh, important. So there we are, and there's uh, Ontario, Quebec. Canada and for fun the U.S. To put it in some kind of uh, context, we uh, BC's interest bite, that's the uh, the taxpayer supported interest expense as a percentage of taxpayer supported revenue, for us was 4.1 percent last year. For Ontario it was 9.5 percent. What does that translate into in real dollars? For us it was 1.6 billion if we had Ontario's interest bite of 9.5% applied to BC's taxpayer-supported revenues, um, our debt servicing costs would be uh, $2 billion more than we presently pay. Where does that leave us uh, going forward? You will know of the measures that we've taken to control expenditures, hiring freeze, management salary freeze, controls on travel. The question that I'm sure someone will ask, so I'll... Um, I'll answer it for the first time and then again. Uh, are we going to balance the budget next year? We're going to balance the budget next year. Uh, you will know that uh, in the, the fiscal plan, we, uh, we showed the progression towards, uh, towards that balance. I thought I'd, I'd give you a quick just put up a slide on the uh, the PST and the, the transition to the PST. So everything's on target for April the 1st. Registration of businesses begins in January. The liaison work is taking place. The uh, the phone lines are up for people that have questions. Uh, next steps, as I say, are uh, uh, are pretty uh, pretty predictable. We'll uh, uh, finalize the uh, the work on the budget, look through some of the other budget consultation uh, material. The Select Standing Committee, of course, has, uh, has reported out, and uh, some of the other agencies, the tax expert tax panel, some of you are familiar with, provided some recommendations, uh, finalized the budget, and uh, the budget is uh, February the 19th uh, next year, and uh, we, we go from there.